All right. Well, um, shall we commence? We're all here. Hell, hell, the gang's all here. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to actually read the governor's order here because I, for once, have it in front of me. And I, so I'm going to sound very official in opening. Um, Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law Chapter 30A, Section 18, and the governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place, this meeting of the Southampton Housing Authority was conducted and is conducted via remote participation. We'll have to find out if there's a new verbiage to use now that it's been extended and we can meet in person, but we right. have the option not to. So right. I'm still using the old one. That'll work. You know, it's, I just, you know, had to say it once <laughs> the whole pandemic and I haven't quoted it directly yet. So thank it, you. It's normally on the my town gov. So that's where I'm reading it right now. So yeah. um, mytowngovernment.org. All right. Um, so we start, I think, with our agenda. I don't see any guests. Any guests? No. And Jim, is there? I, I'm going to ask you in the future. I, I need to have it 48 hours in advance in order to post it up there. So yeah. yeah, if you could help me out with that. I mean, I do post one, but it's not necessary. I mean, it's pretty all inclusive. So, but mm -hmm. I did forget guests on my one that I posted. So <laughs> sorry about that. No worries. That's. Uh, uh, yeah, I do apologize. I don't know if I'm I'm looking particularly sunny today, but we just got a brand new Mac with a better camera, so I should be coming in clear. Oh, wow. You, yeah, you do look. It does look brighter there. For sure. Yeah, see, it's noticeable. Mm -hmm. um, and so the transition from Mac A to Mac B. Yeah, you said you. Yeah, yeah. so. Good. I was a little bit troubled and neglectful here so my apologies for the very yeah, normally you know, I, it's unusual it's an exception not the rule so <laughs> for sure yeah um okay so <clears throat> yeah so i guess we'll call the meeting to order first before we talk open time to the public um so and i see the recording button is on and that is good and we should do a review and approval of previous minutes. Did everyone get a copy? I know you sent them out, Jim. Mm hmm Because I read them, so I didn't imagine that. So you did send yes, them. Yes, they look you. good to me. They also look good to me. Janet, do they look good to you as the I, author of said minutes? Yes, as, as not being able to proof my stuff very well, because mm -hmm. I read the same mistakes over and over again, it looked good to me. So. Well, then I'll take a, I'll accept a motion. All right, motion to approve the, the minutes. I'll second. Okay, by uh, voice vote here, last name. Kane, yay. Simmons, aye. And if I can vote, I will. See me, aye. Yep, Good. Yes. All right, so it's unanimous. Well, well, I do have open time to the public here. I'm sorry. It was just. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah, I just started it off. I went in the wrong order. I wasn't looking. No, at no. <laughs> so I do. I do not see any guests this evening. Um, so we'll just move along. Now, I hope I didn't forget anything, but I think we have a relatively short agenda tonight because, again, I do see our work. I don't mind meeting monthly in our usual spot because that's when we do, and maybe the public's expecting it. But I, I see a big chunk of our work in the next few months really focused on that collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe we can do some things on Monday before in the future as we move forward, you know, that yeah. would contribute to that without the whole group. If we right. have if we have assignments for the housing side. And Jim, just as an FYI in Sierra, I could not give it a new name. I have to post it under the housing authority because we have a quorum. Okay. So, yeah, so I, someone, I don't remember who advised us to call it a working group instead of the committee or whatever, but it seems like we need to be a committee and not a working group. And that's yeah, fine. It has to be posted as a housing authority because I asked Ed about it um, a couple weeks ago and that was the answer I got. So, yeah. Unless you would like me to drop out and then 
Okay. No, you're probably hoping I say yes, but no. And then we wouldn't have a quorum <laughs> at the work group meeting, but then I would miss all the fun stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm teasing. Yeah. Sorry, neither of you may drop out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's it's housing committee. That's what it'll be. And it'll be in addition to these monthly first Monday meetings. Yeah, it'll be the housing authority. So yes. Yes, that works. I just have to remember to post a couple times. So, <laughs> okay. Um, um, Unless you want to elect just, officers, uh, and we could elect Sierra as the uh, clerk instead. <laughs> when does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing you. Unless you really, I don't want to take it away from you. If you really want to be, no, that's okay. Not, not, not yet. Maybe at some point. <laughs> we had a barking dog in the background i believe yes he's he's i don't know why he's excited because he was fed but anyway I hear um you. all right so looking at the agenda um new member recruitment oh something i neglected to put on the agenda um marini is the select board chair Ms. groden will be um assigning as they do when you have a new board, assigning members to d various committees. Mm -hmm. um, Rini's very, you know, she's well aware that one of the candidates who was one of the winners for the select board, I think the three year seat, um, is interested, in, made statements about, you know, interested in producing, looking at, you know, more very price points for housing, more affordable housing in Southampton. As so mm -hmm. Rini's aware of that interest. However, a lot of it has to do with availability of nights when we meet and et cetera. Mm -hmm. And others may express interest and there's a seniority thing maybe. Um, so um, she's well aware that um, it's important to have someone from the select board represent and be connected with our committee. So that's a good thing. That that's will happen. Exciting. That could happen as soon as tomorrow night, I think, when the select. Board. Right. <laughs> so that's awesome. And so that I bring that up because um, we're talking about needing new members. One of the recommendations Rini had, um, she didn't have any specific names, but she did recommend that we could get from Lucy Dalton. Actually, a, a, and I, I might have it actually. I don't know if it shows occupation though. A listing of everyone in town by their address and their occupation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And so you go through that list and you kind of say, okay, you know, this person, I don't know, is a banker and this person is a builder or you don't necessarily have to be one of those people to be interested in housing authority. But so that's an option that might be a future exercise yeah. Yeah. for us, maybe sooner than later. Because um, we do need two more members. That's a fact. What would we do with that information? Would we just call them up <laughs> will people be yeah. like pissed if we do that <laughs> they might <laughs> they might um we might be able to draft maybe a memo or a letter to them from the chair that just that says we're good. Looking, that would be a little less that, intrusive yeah so and and please contact or please yeah. join us or whatever you know, I think to, as a first step, it might, unless it's somebody, you know, that you go, oh yeah, that would be a great person. But if it's, that would be my suggestion is that maybe oh. start out, we, we can have a, a, you know, a letter that we use um, consistently. So it's not rewrite Agreed. every time. Agreed. But, it's um, I, rather than a complete cold call to your point. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, someone, we might know someone and so then right. a call isn't so, but you're right. If it's out of the blue. Um, it's not likely to lead to success. A phone call. Something <laughs> they can me to, Do you want me to reach out to Lucy and get that list and get things started with that? Do you mind? Not at all. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I think she's on vacation this week, quite honestly. Okay. I think I saw an email from her uh -huh. that said from the 12th to the 15th. Okay. Well, she's pretty good with responding to emails, so I'll just send her an email. Yes. So can check yep. Out. yep. Yeah, and they usually there's doesn't there she have go. an assistant or someone who covers she does. Yeah, so maybe she could um she might be checking her emails. Yeah. Her. Yep. So, so um, while you guys are looking that I'm gonna see if Rini what exactly she called it. Rather than the list with names and occupations. <laughs> that would be that might be good. 
Yeah. yeah so I, um, and I can draft up a memo as well. Okay, great. I'm not going to argue with you, Sierra. Go for it. Um, <laughs> you sure you don't want to do the minutes? Yeah, because Sabina <laughs> might. <laughs> while you're at it. Uh, no, Sabina um, would probably be able to, I would think, pull the list as well. So, so I'm just going to forward to both of you just for your consumption, Rini's email. So she's agreeing to be chair next year. That's nice. Seems that way. There it is, Jim. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Um, so short of anyone who has any members off the tip of their tongue right now to discuss, um, I'm going to suggest we move along on our agenda to grant committee update. Just because I don't know if there is an update. I'm, I did some copying and pasting, honestly, from the last month. Um, oh, yeah. I don't think we need that. That was from when we were doing the grant things together, but I haven't been going to the grant committee anymore. Since okay. Then. Okay. So that this could be a very short meeting because the next item is CARES Act. And I, don't, I do not have an update on the CARES Act, whether it's being used in town. I can pursue that. Um, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's unfortunate if we don't, if it doesn't get used, it'll probably be, I don't know how that works. If the state takes it back or, um, they probably take it back yeah. or the cares act or maybe the, the federal government might take it back. I right. I, I, to what, cause it all starts at the federal government. Right. And I know the federal government is already talking about taking stuff back. That's not used to fund Biden's infrastructure um, efforts. So. Do you know if there's any other allowances for ways to spend it? Like, can we get creative at all with what it gets spent on? Or um, do we have to go through this system where they request it through the other people? I, I don't want to say no, just you know, offhandedly without really knowing, but I suspect that it's almost like earmarked funds, that it's not something that towns can do. Could be wrong, or, or there could be, you know, legislation and process that's recognizing that this is happening throughout, and they're going to give towns a break because, hmm. you know, it's not going to make or break our budget. But you know, six thousand dollars is six thousand dollars. Yeah, it's a good question. You know, if we had a housing trust, I bet they'd let us put it in there. <laughs> right. So at least it would be, you know, it was dedicated to affordable housing. But yeah. I, if there was like even an organization that did support for that kind of thing in town, I would say they'd let us give it to them. But mm -hmm. maybe they'd even let us put it in the CPA because that's monies that we could grab in the future for housing. I'm not holding my breath on any of those. Yeah. <laughs> me neither. Me neither. <laughs> we're, we're diving into the world of speculation here. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, that's not really our, that's not really our place to figure it out. It's whoever does the okay. budget balancing. You know what, what I'll do is, um, you know, Ed is a good person to ask and I'll ask him that. Um, I'll send him an email, but I'm also going to ask Jenna Tetro of, um, community action because she's administering this for a lot of towns and i bet she's getting that question she may know yeah yeah, yeah. what if community action got to keep it for like the next fiscal year or something i don't know these are just i've seen like some flexibility you know i deal with a lot of government funding and it really depends where it's coming from sometimes they are pretty open as long as you spend it for the same purpose and sometimes they're like absolutely not and i wonder to your point or Sierra, that, you know, this, this is federal money that came down to the states, I understand it. Now the states are pushing it down. Um, trying to call that back through that many layers would be challenged. To me, yeah. it would seem to be more amenable to, you know, oh, my God, it's gone. You know, just do something with it. Yeah, maybe than... they'll let Mass keep it, at least. That would All be, right. that's, some, that's a wish that we can reasonably hope for. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll pursue that. I will email Ed and Jenna to see what I can learn. Well, I'm emailing Jenna. I'm going to ask her about, you know, if anyone from town has, you know, used the funds. Uh -huh. Cool. Um, now, and that's all I have on our agenda. Um, although I am curious, I'm, I'm getting a little paranoid here. We set our first collaboration meeting for August. Is that right? Well, we have a meeting on June 28th. 
You mean July? July, July 28th. 28th. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I can't read my own yes. calendar. July 28th. Yeah. July 28th. Yeah. 6, 6 p.m., right? Yeah. Yep. I can't read my own calendar. Something got water on it and it gets illegible. Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm using an old fashioned paper calendar. Mm hmm. mine. Probably not a good idea. All right. That's good. So we know we're meeting. Is there. Weren't we having done, a public uh, a public hearing the, thing coming up? That's in early August. That's, that's the right. one that's in the, on the fifth. Third. That's the fifth of August at six thirty. Yes. Yeah. So does that? I think maybe we should talk to Ed about. Does that need to? Um, do we need to put a notice in the paper for that, or is Ken going to do that? Yeah, like, sometimes it has to be two weeks in advance, and that's not two weeks in advance. I was just going to say we can find out from Ken on the twenty eighth, but you're right. That's not I, I, that might be too late to find out. So, well, um, how about I email Ken and okay. Ed together? I was probably in my minutes. I just never, I haven't looked at them in a while. I don't recollect reading that in the minutes about determining the next you know scheduling it i guess my minutes from not these minutes but the minutes from um i did the other minutes from the other meeting that i sent out as well mm -hmm. i I, yeah. sent, I sent them out together well yeah, I don't know if we made a decision about who was going to, like, make the move to make their scheduled on time and, like, tell the relevant people. I don't know if yeah. that was ever just to her determined. So yeah. it's good It's good that we're meeting now because if you guys are okay with this, I will email Ed and Ken and say, mm -hmm. you know, sure. we have this concern. We're meeting on the 28th, but it may not be sufficient time to schedule for the 5th. Yeah, my like work group that? meetings, I said the list first one will be scheduled on August 5th from 6 30 8 30 in the minutes I had uh, done for the work group. But I did did somebody set up a um a group e D I group email and I missed it or something? Jim definitely set up the group email. I do remember that. Mm -hmm. Did it get set up? Yeah. Yeah, let me find okay. that. Um, okay. good. I'll go back and find that. I must have it then. If Jim Too many emails. I it's, called, it's called Welcome to HPP. Okay, whatever that is anymore, huh? <laughs> Housing production plan. Yep. Work, work, work. Yes. yes. The production plan. Yeah, I'm sure I have it. So I will get those minutes out to people too. Not that we ever voted for a add a, a clerk for that so see well what happened janet is we all stepped back and you forgot to step back and so you essentially stood forward well that's uh, i never opened this one now now i see okay no i just did it because it's the housing we didn't do it i i'm certainly somebody from planning is welcome to do it as well so well We'll see. But we'll see what happens. Yes. Because it is a work. That'll be one of the things we decide on the 28th, honestly. Yeah. Because that's... Yeah, I, don't, I don't have a problem doing it. You sure? Because it's going to be a lot of work. We'll be a lot of, you know, we're going to talk about a lot of things. And All right. I love you, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a summary of the meeting. It's a, not a detailed discussion, so... Understood. Yeah. You, you, you're looking at someone who has frequent writer's block and poor skills, so it causes me anxiety, those kind of things. So on this topic of um, anxiety, um, I, I'm, the 28th will be here before we know it. Is mm -hmm. I feel like, all right, should we be preparing something? Should I be reading something? And, um I don't want to be remiss. Am I missing something? Or? Let me just look at those minutes again, because I think that, um, let me just give me a second. Or did I close that already? 
And, you know, I think it's, it's Ken and them's job to sort of be our support for here, this. So maybe when you email him, you can just ask him, Ken, is there anything you need us to do in preparation here? Are you guys just going to run this whole thing? I think I just closed the wrong one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think he was going to send us, Did and, I, and excuse me if I didn't get this one either. He, I thought he was going to send us some samples. Uh, Ken was going to send us some samples, and um, he did the email work group. Ken was going to provide a couple samples of housing production plans from similar communities. Yeah, that'll be helpful to have before uh, the 28th to read. Yeah. All right, so that's good. Um, I think that's the main, that's what I have in my summary minutes. So, okay. So how about I do this? I will email Ken and Ed separately about scheduling for the 5th. And then I will separately email just Ken, CC both of you, and say, what do we need to do to prepare for the 28th? What, what would be helpful? Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned sending some samples. I suppose the sooner we receive those, the more time we have to read it and consume it. Hint, hint. So diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I can be diplomatic. So much so. All right. Good. Do we have anything else for this evening? No need to be hurried, but on the other hand. Are you hungry? I have some I'm enchiladas hungry. to go find. <laughs> I, am, I was born hungry, Janet. And <laughs> we're, we're trying to do this thing at work. Like, why do we meet so much? We just meet to meet, you know? So, yeah. Uh -huh. Meet to have about having a meeting, right? So, yes. so I'm all about meeting. if we don't need to meet, no offense, but yeah. So, our Would next, you say, do we need a next meeting in August? Yes, yeah, so that's what I was going to put. Our well, next yeah, so that's the next on our agenda, right? Is scheduled next. I think again, it might be quick, it might be like this, or even less time, but we probably should stick to the first Mondays just because. Let me go pen. Sorry. That's our rhythm. And plus, if if um by then there could be a representative from the select board who's quote assigned mm -hmm. to us and they may want to check in how things are going. And I told Rini the first Monday, so I think we should. If yep. you guys don't mind. Nope. I'm with me. We'll just pledge to one another that if we don't have a long agenda and not much to discuss, we won't be lengthy. Yes. Yeah. So that's uh, Monday the second. Yes. Correct. At six o'clock. So the um, are we going to continue to meet via Zoom? Like, I my gut says yes. Um, I don't mind meeting at town hall, but I, I think Sierra Thumb said yes. Yeah. I think this I'm is fine. easier, and it actually, Easy. to me, <laughs> invites. It's easier for the public if they want to join us. Yeah, and just. You know, even though it's just a five minute drive, it's like so much easier to just flat a computer. It's so fast. You don't really drive, do you, Sierra? <laughs> what do you mean? Just in general? Don't you walk to town hall? <laughs> I guess that's true. If I well, went, no, when kidding. I do go to town hall, when I'm like dropping off things for Lucy or whatever, I usually try to take the nice walk. Yeah. There's a sidewalk the whole way. What more could you ask for? Nice. That's awesome. Well, you could ask except, for an sidewalk that goes except that one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost the whole way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry to get off topic. My apologies. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that works. Six o'clock on the second. Six o'clock on the second. Well, somebody's saying hello back there. That was Gabby. Says hi. Hi, Gabby. It's funny how you recognize their barks. <laughs> oh yeah. My cats have very distinct meows. One's very high. One's very low. It's like it's. Like, chorus that goes together <laughs> <laughs> okay right. i'd like to make a motion to adjourn our meeting at 6 27 p.m mm. Ended. awesome so by a voice vote please last name k9 simmons i senior i that one's always unanimous all right thank you both. thanks for yeah. ordering food tonight i appreciate it <laughs> I can't wait. I love an enchilada. <laughs> Bye. Excellent. All right. Thank bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, Jim. Bye.